Hello, this is Dr. Leo at the lead time. If you are a new distiller or if you want to start your journey of distillation making your own hydrosol and essential oil or if you want to make your own the product lines by using your self-made hydrosol and essential oil this video is exactly designed for you to become a successful distiller uh, doing the successful distillation through this video, I will demonstrate you seven aspects. So if you follow the rules and you can make your successful, repeatable and safely distillation from any herbs. The first question I want to answer is what is distiller or what is a distillation? This is a basic question you have to know before you start your journey because that's the foundation of your future. Here are the three uh, different size of uh, distillers. We have uh, the 3 liter is LT3000, the KD5, the steamer size is uh, 2 cup, 500 milliliter and 3 gallon. So they all work in the same series. When we talk about the distillation, I'm going to use LT3000 as example. Distillation uh, or steel or distiller, it has uh, two parts, two majorly two parts. So this tubing connecting the two parts. This part is condenser. Condenser is help uh, to condense the steam back into the liquid. And you have a uh, spout to collect your the products that is called a distillate. Uh, distillate include essential oil and hydrosol. And the other part is a hot part. This is a distillation part. The water will be boiled and the steam come up and carry or go through the herbs and carry the phytochemicals and with the steam go to the condenser. Now we talk about the ways of a distillation. You may heard about steam distillation, hydro distillation. What's the difference? Steam distillation is like uh, the LT3000. The water is in the pot and a uh, herb in the column. So they don't mix together. Only the steam will go through the herb in the distillation part and then they condense into the products. So that is called a steam distillation. Hydro distillation is mixed herb with water in a pot. So that is like uh, the three gallon distiller. The three gallon distiller because it has a large volume so you can mix the herbs with water and just let it boil together so the steam will go throughout directly into the condenser. For new person start the distillation, I highly recommend start with the steam distillation because it's a much easier to set up and you don't worry about the ratio between the water and the herb. You add in the pot for the hydro distillation and you just put in the column and you can put more or less of your herbs so you, it's way more flexible and easy to control. With the hydro distillation, you get a chance overcook if you don't manage the water very well. So your leaf may be burned at the bottom of the pot. Steam distillation is a new distiller friendly. The next question is what products you want to make? Do you want to make a hydrosol? Do you want to make an essential oil? Or do you want to make your other products by using the hydrosol or essential oil you made as uh, ingredients? So that matter a lot how you choose your distiller and what is the amount of herbs you're going to use. If you like hydrosol and you want to make it for your personal use, the KD5 is a perfect size. It's a 500 milliliter size of the steamer, 2 liter pot. So it can make you 2 cup, 
of the hydrosol each time and it can add uh, any kind of uh, the herbs into the cup you can add uh, the dry or fresh you just do go through a little preparation cut into small pieces put in the steamer then you can start using it take a little space uh, it's a short distillation and make it way easier if you want to make a hydrosol and a bit of essential oil for your family friends or for your uh, new developer products you, want, you don't want to start with a large batch small batch distillation lt3000 is a perfect size is a one liter column two liter pot is great for you to uh, make a liter of the hydrosol at one time and if you want to go larger for example you you already have a formula or you really want to make a more essential oil or you have a, um, a little farm let's say you have uh, the the pine trees or a big uh, group bunch of uh, the peppermint so you can use a large size uh, distiller and you can collect more essential oil and hydrosol we talk about the structure of a distiller have a distillation part and a condensation part so what is the way we use for the condensation there are two ways one is a manual way so you can just manually add an ice cube or cold water into the condenser during the distillation and replace it when they're getting hot so that is a perfect way for the short-term distillation for example with kd5 because you just make a small batch um, then manually adding the ice cubes in this and condense into the product is perfect for the large volume distillation you definitely want to try the circulation distillation so circulation distillation is the container of the condenser it has a coil in it so the cold water will flow in and then leave so it can keep circulating the cold water from the reservoir and make sure the steam can be fully condensed into the products now we talk about the space space is a very important question everyone starts to set up their distiller need to think about it um, so I want to show you uh, my uh, workspace so I have uh, just a bench a table um, because I'm using the hot play I just uh, put it there it's not a big table you know it's a pretty uh, uh, regular like a study table uh, I can put my the circulation the the bucket there oh, with a pump in and then here is the condenser part so this is like a permanent work table if you really love the distillation I highly recommend you find a spot it's give you a you know accessibility you don't have a pile of stuff around boxes other stuff so you have easy access make sure you can move freely during the distillation it's a safety safety is very important so make sure you have a free access and uh, you find a space with ventilation the best spot is having a window openable window around you or has a door around you to give you a better ventilation during the process um, indoor I highly re recommend use a hot plate electric hot plate one kilowatt is a perfect you know you don't need a very fast if you are large size like commercial size you definitely want to have a burner the gas burner but for the new distiller so use a hot play make it much easier to control and manage 